guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a female woman, W-O-M-A-N, from Rochester in Kent. We have the cathedral nearby, the Rochester Castle, and I try to make myself happy in a world which has gone insane. Totally insane, right? So, just after 7pm this evening, I, Crystal, went out for a walk with my dog Max, who is a tiny chihuahua. Here he is, as grumpy as me. <laughs> Um, for a walk around the Rochester Riverside, around the field where I met that guy called Charlie. I haven't seen Charlie today. Um, Kim did say it must make a nice break for you going round to someone else's flat to have a cup of tea. Um, it does make a difference when you go away somewhere and come back. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm coughing. <coughs> so I took Max out I put some rubbish in the communal bin just like I write a diary put some rubbish in the communal bin and I walked straight straight across and up the road I had a cap on I'm a woman and I wear a cap I wear a cap, I've got loads of caps I've got black caps, white caps Mickey Mouse caps, a Coca-Cola cap a woman wearing a cap walking a chihuahua Gets onto the field, there's absolutely nobody on there. Uh, but there's a jogger with black hair in a tight pair of black shorts, a male jogger. So I let the jogger go past and I start walking Max and I get halfway down the field and I get a message off of a dating site. I get a message off a dating site. I do. And I, I mean, I'm going to show you. I mean, obviously, they're fake profiles and fake pictures. So let, I'm just going to show you what, I, what a woman gets off of a dating site. So um, I, get, I get a message off of a dating site whilst I'm walking my dog around the field, and I answer it. Um, sorry, I've got to find the right one where it started, what time it started as well. Sweet Jesus Christ, you're smoking hot and sexy as hell. Hopefully you're okay. I'd love to chat with you outside of here and see what happens, but I'm missing your name and number. Care to rectify it? So I swap numbers with this guy. And this is the picture he gives me. Now, it's to this is the picture I get. This man texts me, Crystal. I'm a woman, right? This is the picture I get. He says he's called Jay. Jay. He's Jay from the dating site, Jay. Don't you like my picture then? Bet you look beautiful right now. Can I see a picture of you as you are now sexy? You are a beautiful lady. And a man comes at me on a bike. As I'm reading these messages, I've got a guy coming at me with a bicycle, with a cap on his head, a grey moustache and glasses, like mine, coming at me down the path. I keep a cool, calm, collective attitude. I walk on the verge, let the bike go past. I let the jogger go past while I'm getting these remarks on a date in sight. And then a female jogger, after he's texted me, I look beautiful. I've got a female jogger in a tight pair of shorts and a tight top and earphones in her ears, jogging past me and I pull Max to the side. So we've had two joggers, a man on a bicycle with a grey moustache and a cap and glasses, and then another chap starts walking, a dark-skinned chap starts walking with glasses on down the field. And who rings after that? Jennifer, my mother. She rings me on the field after I've had all this. 
and I haven't lost my temper or got upset once. You have one new message and eight saved messages. First new message received today at 7.43 p.m. Good evening, Janice. It's me, Jennifer, your mum, giving you a, a, the usual evening night time telephone call from my landline phone to you, Janestra, wishing you good night and God bless. And I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. Okay, good night. God bless. To return the call at your normal call. So my mother, Jennifer, calls me while I'm being texted off of a dating site saying, me, Crystal, looks beautiful and sexy. <sighs> now I'm back indoors and I'm safe. I'm safe indoors. This is what it's like down my road. That's my balcony. There's my windmills. Um Right. So the photograph was quite frightening, especially if a younger woman had got it. A great big close-up of an older man with a big red face. It's quite scary. Um, as I was coming off the field, um, opposite me, I don't know how to explain this, but opposite me was a bearded man walking two disabled mentally disabled people down the road. So there was a m mentally disabled Indian, and remember that my mother has a, had a worker called Ben, who was an Asian, who gave her mentally, ment mental health injections for 13 years. So we've got this bald-headed Asian man walking with another man, all stooped over, because my mum walks with a stoop, so there was a guy stooped over with a big nose, and then another guy, and they was going, uh, 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 opposite me, as I was walking down the path. Two young lads come out of nowhere laughing, I'd say about 22, 23, and they walk over to another man with a curly-haired dog. So these guys look like they're laughing at me, I've got my black cap on, and then they go over to another guy with a dog and stroke the, the guy's dog and laugh at me, like they laugh with their white teeth and they go off. Uh, and I've got a, a bearded man like my dad walking two mentally ill disabled people into the co-op. And one of them looks like my mum's mental health worker, Ben, from behind. I just calmly walk past all this and I go home by myself and um, it doesn't affect me because I haven't had a mental health worker. I'm not mentally ill. Before I went out I watched uh, a video by Paula Mann. Brian Harvey had uploaded a video by Paula Mann saying threat to life. So I was listening to Paula Mann's video on my Alexa app before I went outside and he was saying that Brian Harvey had uploaded some weird videos and that Brian H Harvey was like not completely normal. He suffered mental health problems. That's what I was listening to before I went outside on my Alexa app. Paula Mann, Paula Mann also said that he thought the police that came out to Brian Harvey when he had a threat to life, were actors and weren't real police. So I was listening to that before I went out for my evening walk with my chihuahua. Paula Mann was like saying that Brian Harvey had mental health problems. And then this guy is walking to mentally ill disabled people down the street into the co-op. And then I watched a video of Brian Harvey uh, who was upset with his housing situation because he's had mice 
uh, and he was trying to do the housing's work for them. And he was, it, I, I don't, I wouldn't say that Brian Harvey um, is mentally ill. I, I say that people feed off you when you get stressed. They feed off you. So when it happens to me, when I get stressed, I shout, I get angry, I sometimes swear. When people put a load of stress on you or they don't help you, you get, you get it all, all anger pent up and you let it out. And I don't think Brian Harvey is a nasty person. Um, I wouldn't say that he's mentally ill as in what some people are saying. Of course he's got problems, no one's helping him. He's had mice in his flat, he's having to do it himself. And this poor man is saying the police that came out to him were actors when he had a threat to life. They were actors. Mm -hmm. If you go through my videos, you will see that I've taped a police officer in my flat and the police didn't do anything to help me when I was verbally abused and threatened. I taped the police officer in my flat. He didn't do anything. Did nothing at all. In my opinion, it's not mental health illness at all. It's people stressing you out. They stress you out. I've got someone now texting the phone while I'm speaking on, on this video. It's another one. I'm trying to do a video. I've got this. Who's this? Faithful Chief. How are you doing tonight? Are you having a good weekend? See, they've been doing this to me all day. And you get stressed and you get angry. You start shouting and getting upset. It's, I, my problem is I've got idiots texting me on dating sites asking me how I am and they could take me out for a coffee. I mean, it's ridiculous. We had a message from a smooth prince. A smooth prince. Sorry. There is something very sexy about you, and I get sent a picture of a man with glasses. With, with, it looks like a bodybuilder. Does my physique look like that? Do I look like that? These people are texting me. I'm somebody's mum. I'm somebody's mother. Do you know I had someone call me a puff this afternoon? A puff. Someone called me a puff. I think I've got something missing. I'm definitely not a puff. Why would you call me a puff? I'm keeping all this as evidence because there's somebody that's not normal. It's the same person putting up fake profiles and giving you the same spill. Hello, beautiful. You're sexy. There's something wrong with them. They're mentally ill. See you later.